talk about blue green algae. This is a microalgae phytoplankton that's different from spirulina because it prefers fresh water as opposed to brackish salty water. Microalgae phytoplankton are the basis of the food chain. They're super absorbable. It has all the B vitamins, B1, B2, B3, 5, 6, 9, and 12. And it has the blue pigment phycocyanin, which helps preload the immune system by stimulating the production of more stem cells from the bone marrow. So phycocyanin, that it's a, you can see it's kind of purpley, and then it's blue. So really that's what you're trying to get. You're trying to get the color of this liquid. So to make it, it's really easy. 20 essential and non-essential amino acids, over 60 organic and trace minerals and nutrients. Marcus Rothkranz made a video on how blue-green algae or pond scum isn't good for you. So a way to get around that is just to concentrate it in the water. So I'll show you how I do that. And it just pulls the phycocyanin out. So you actually don't even have to consume the algae. I just pour it on my plants. This is the finished product. It'll start off green, but while you're making it, it'll look this color. And I just pour that into a jar. This is really high in chlorophyll too. It's a really easy way to get your chlorophyll. You can see how carbonated that is. So that's, all those bubbles are really good for us. It super cleans the intestinal tract. Okay, now on how to make it, all you do is take, it doesn't take much, I use about, about a teaspoon, about that much. Stir it around. This is about a half gallon of water. And it's really good if you can add a couple drops of fulvic acid. This will help to leach the phycocyanin out of the algae, which is the, that pigment that we're looking for. And you just stir it, and that's it. And then you put this on. So it needs to breathe. So this is a perfect lid because it, it lets air in. So I set that in there. Put it in the fridge and you're done. I forgot to mention that this is loaded with chlorophyll. Most people are deficient in chlorophyll. Chlorophyll builds the blood. It fights skin and liver cancer, leukemia. It deodorizes the bowels. It's what's found in green food, so it's really good to have a lot of chlorophyll in your diet, whether it be in the form of salads or concentrated chlorophyll, which are found in the algaes just that dark green color. With blue-green algae, one to two percent of its dry weight is chlorophyll. So that's a lot of chlorophyll. And the phycocyanin helps stimulate the production of more stem cells, so that's awesome. And that is how to make phycocyanin blue-green algae violetta. So it has that changing color to it. You can throw chia seeds in here, soy salt, or ionic magnesium. This is really good to drink when you don't have food in your stomach because if you do it's it's more of an alkaline substance so this is more of a washing and you kind of want to down this instead of sipping it because you're trying to wash your intestinal tract and all those soapy bubbles all that carbonation is just gonna super clean you up as well as all that chlorophyll so it's a great detox drink at the end of this after it's brewed for about a day at the bottom you'll have dark material you don't want to pour that into here because we're just trying to get the phycocyanin. So once you're pouring it out and you, you'll see it start to pour out, just stop pouring it and let it settle and then you can pour a little more. And then what I do, it's about here, I pour this on my vegetables outside so they love the algae as well as ocean water, all these minerals. This is packed full of minerals. Try to use the best water you can. Here I'm using steam distilled. You can use reverse osmosis, well, or spring water. I just try to use really clean water, do not use tap water. 
Try making this elixir blue-green algae.